You know, one question that I didn't get asked in my Q&A that I really want to answer is that I'm actually a 14-year-old scared boy. Okay, now we're gonna take a thumbnail. Shit, we're gonna do this. Oh shit. Dear Jesus Lord, let's fucking get for buying so many books. Warning, the video you are about to watch contains really, really intense chaotic energy. I promise you I am not on any drugs. This is just me. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> my name is Monica and this is my channel, Money Reads, where I talk about books and things. And you know what you should do? You know what you should do? Not buy a bunch of books. Well, I mean, you should if you want to, but you should totally hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, and comment down below. Also, Fuck. Also, I have a giveaway going on. Link will be up here to where you can access that if what you're here for is just to get some new books. I'm giving away 20 euros worth of books. My cat just walked all over my computer. It's a great day. It's a great day. It's a wonderful day. <sighs> Witness me. I need, I need, I don't need a psychologist. I already go to one. But anyway, hi. <laughs> I bought some books. It's been four minutes and I haven't said anything. I bought some books. I, I, I went a little crazy and I want to show you the stupid thing that I did because it's really funny. Basically, I was really into these books and I got them and then I got them again and then I, I have a bunch of repeat books that don't worry, I'm going to return some of them. Um, obviously, I'm not going to keep two, two of the same books with the same exact cover and edition. We'll talk about covers and editions in a moment because Book Depository, you did me wrong. But anyway, let's start this um, book haul with iRobot by Isaac Asimov. This cover was what got me. I read this book when I was way like too young to truly understand its place in the world but I remember loving it and this was one of the books that got me into um, sci-fi so I decided to get this beautiful purple and yellow cover of um, Isaac Asimov's iRobot. I love this book it's great totally endorse it it's about a robot it's about a robot and um, in this is where Asimov sought, sets the three laws of robotics which are still like a thing today which is incredible so it's designed to protect humans from their robotic creation and pushes them to their limits and beyond following genius robot psychologist dr. Susan Calvin and engineers Powell and Donovan these short stories help to transform artificial intelligence from a dream into a science and change the perception of robots forever basically this man is a fucking genius okay and you should read his books the next book I bought I had a wanted to buy it because I am like mm, on animal um what's it called experimentation but I decided to finally get flowers for Algernon and you know this apparently is about a man who has a oh that is some ugly writing look at that the inside it's not very cute flowers for Algernon is about a man who I believe has a learning disability and then the scientists experiment on this little mouse and it makes the little mouse super intelligent so they decide to do the same to the man with the physical with the physical with the learning disability and what happens is everything goes well everything goes it's great everything is great until you realize that the mouse is dying and charlie has to face the possibility charlie is the man with the disability has to face the possibility that he will also fade away and die and you know what that does to a person sounds like a great time no alcohol required let me know if you know where that's from actually it does sound really sad and it does sound like it's gonna be like oh my god i'm gonna cry but it sounds great now it's i'm gonna talk about it because it's here let me insert a clip right now all of the books that i have the covers have been covers that i sought out because i really like them because i really like to have like a like a curated collection of books if you will yeah that was me talking about how I love to buy curated book covers. So I read this book on audiobook and I was like, I really want that book because I actually really like it. Sometimes it takes a while for me to realize that I really like a book. You know, like 
do I really want to buy it? Do I really want to invest in it, if you will? So I finally decided that yes, I wanted to invest in this book, but I wanted the original cover. I didn't want the movie cover because there was a movie made of it. So I went to Book Depository, I picked the cover that I wanted because they didn't have it anymore on Amazon. I got this shit. I got the Netflix movie cover of I Am Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. I hate it. And I don't know how to return books to Book Depository. I, I mean, you are supposed to be like, Monica, but what's important is what's on the inside. Yeah, but look at that. that. I don't want that cover. I want the original cover. And I'm just angry at it. But anyway, if you haven't read this, this is about a woman who's taking a road trip with her boyfriend and she's going to meet his parents for the first time. But the whole time she's thinking about the fact that she may not even want to be in this relationship anymore. And then shit hits the fan and you're like, what the fuck is going on? That's the best description you're ever going to get about this book. You're welcome. I'm the best booktuber ever. Then I bought a book that is kind of like weird, okay? I bought a J.O. Morgan's The Martian's Regress. And what's cool about this is that this is science fiction poetry. And I know, science fiction and poetry are not two things that you usually associate with each other, but I read a couple of these poems already and we should be all rereading science fiction poetry. And I just never had like a sci-fi poetry book to recommend to you guys, and now I do. So I bought it and I just love this cover. It's I just it's so minimalistic and oh, I love everything about this book. If 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 you have some extra moolah, some extra money monies um, this month, I recommend that you buy The Martian's Regress by J.O. Morgan. The next book that I got is The Long Walk by Stephen King. I've already read this. I've read it multiple times, but I didn't own a copy. So I was just like, you know what? Let's, let's get it. Let's get the copy. And I'm going to read you the back because last time I did a video talking about The Long Walk, there was this white middle-aged man that left like four comments telling me everything I said wrong. So this one goes out to you, white middle-aged man that really likes Stephen King. So it says, against the wishes of his mother, 16-year-old Ray Garrity is about to compete in the annual grueling match of stamina and wits known as the long walk. 100 boys must keep a steady pace for four miles per hour without ever stopping, with the winner being awarded the prize. It looked, it looked just the prize. Anything he wants for the rest of his life. But as part of this national tournament that sweeps through a dystopian America year after year, there are some harsh rules that Garrity and 99 others must adhere to in order to beat out the rest. There is no finish line. The winner is the last man standing. Contestants cannot receive any outside aid whatsoever. Slow down under the speed limit and you're going to get a warning. Three warnings and you're out of the game permanently. Basically, they shoot them. That's not a spoiler. That, that's in the book, in the, like the first two pages. So This is one of the scariest books I've ever read. If you saw my Q&A, which is where the giveaway is going at, um, this is one of the scariest books I've ever read because I was actually, this was the only time I've ever been scared for a protagonist. I always know protagonists are going to make it out alive, except in that book. And then, and then remember how I was like, my uncle got me a necessary evil for my birthday when I did my birthday book haul, which I will link up here. It turns out he didn't and he got me a sweatshirt. So I was like, I really want a necessary evil. And then I bought it. And then I fucking bought it again. <laughs> Why did I buy two of the same book? I don't know. I guess I really wanted it because this is the last book in the collection. So um, I'm, I'm keeping one and I'm returning the other one. Basically, this is a story where there is Nazis, X-Men, and aliens that do magic and that are trying to get to Earth to like take over because to use magic, you have to use our blood and they're like mapping out our genome. So the more magic we use, the more we like give them Earth. Yep, yep, yeah, that, that's what you get. Like I said, this is one of the craziest but most incredible sci-fi series I've ever read. So get on that train. I'm really chaotic today. And then I bought the um, Themis files. I bought the whole trilogy. 
I had already read Sleeping Giant. Um, I am currently reading Waking Gods, and I plan to read Only Human. <laughs> but here's the thing. I Apparently, I couldn't decide between which Sleeping Giants cover I should get. So I was like, I guess I was like, I'll get both of them. Why? I decided in the end to keep this one because it matches with the other ones. Although, Only Humans is smaller than the rest of the books. Look, look at that. What is that stupidity? Why? Why would you do that? But whatever. So I got, <laughs> so I got these two and uh, I'm returning this one. If you want to know what the series is about, basically it's this little girl, when she's about 12, she falls into this gigantic metallic hand and that sets her off on a journey of becoming a scientist. And eventually they find more parts of this gigantic robot, robot that they named Themis. And the whole thing is about figuring out how the robot works, why it's here, who the fuck left it here, and what it's good for, which, you know. What do you fuck do you think a giant robot is good for? Fighting, that's what. Is this Neon Genesis Evangelion? Maybe. And the last book, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for this whole thing. And the last book I bought is the book that's been on my wish list the longest, and that's House of Leaves by Market Z. Danieleski? Yes, Danieleski. This was supposed to be the scariest, most disturbing book of all time. I got to page 20 and I was bored out of my mind. I'm eventually going to read it, but uh, yeah, at page 20, nothing happens and it's just really boring. So uh, I hope that it gets better with time, but I'm just going to, I'm going to put this aside for now because I was really mad that I spent 20 euros on this book and it's just boring, 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 boring. I don't get it. Boring. Um, and I think it like the parts that get interesting are like starting at page 100 or something. And um, so I just got 80 pages left of boringness to contend with. So that's it. So that's it. That's my chaotic, chaotic. What are words? That's my chaotic little book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that, yeah, basically that. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't buy double books. You know, just don't get two of the same book. Just buy one and then, you know, read that book. Or don't, I don't know. I'm, uh, do whatever you want. It's your life. But me, I'm going to go take a nap because I really need one. And, well, I leave you with a friendly reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then sometimes more throughout the week because apparently I just love talking to all of you. So, yes, without any further ado, I bid you adieu. And I remind you that I will see you in another galaxy far, far away where I can record videos without my cats and my husband destroying my videos.